Baruch here with Gen Connect, and we're joined today by Alexander Rebin. Alexander, I've noticed these little robots all around campus. Mm -hmm. What is that? This is the Blab Droid, and the Blab Droid is creating the world's first documentary completely directed and shot by robots. Tell me what that means. Uh, so this guy goes around autonomously, asks people questions, and records the answer with its camera inside. How does he go around? Well, he, he has these little treads so he can travel around, has some sensors to navigate, um, or sometimes they just sit somewhere and people pick them up and start talking to them. So can you show, give me an example of what this guy would yeah, do? Yeah, so here we go. We can Welcome to the Aspen Ideas Fest. What's your name? I'm Baruch. I like if there's no money and no law, what would be the first thing you would do? A little difficult, right? Now, now you're on the next question. <laughs> yeah, so they so they have a lot of introspective questions, questions that get uh, pretty interesting answers. And it's all recorded on camera and by audio. Yep, inside of the robot. So we have many of them out, so we can uh, send a bunch out to talk to many different people. Then we download the footage afterwards. And what's going to be the finished product here? Um, for for Aspen, we're putting together a short documentary for the for the finale to show uh, what people were doing here. Now, how did this all come about? What's the process that ultimately leads up to a blab droid. Yeah, so originally the idea was to study human-robot symbiosis. So I was doing my thesis at MIT trying to get people to help this robot do things. But we actually found that people were talking to the robot and, and telling it very interesting uh, answers to the questions. So we've been honing down what, what made that powerful into a smaller, cuter robot to, to make it more documentary-like. Now is that voice a real child's voice? Yeah, so this is the, the son of my uh, filmmaking partner, Brent Hoff, and uh, yeah, the voice and the looks and everything about it to make it cute is to make you feel like it's non-judgmental and to make you feel like you can open up to it and trust it. Even that it's made out of cardboard and small makes you feel like you're really in control of it, and if you really didn't want it anymore, you could just throw it away, right? So it's completely up to you. And do you have a sense already of what kind of answers you're getting? Get very interesting answers. Uh, well, we had this around the world, so we've gotten some pretty interesting responses. Uh, one question was, who do you love the most? Some, some countries, uh, the majority of the answers is myself. Uh, some places like, like New York, it's my mother. Um, so we were finding these interesting patterns in some of these questions. And these robots then, do they transmit these answers? Or do you have to collect the actual robot and download the answer? Yeah, right now they record internally on a card, but now we're looking at things like uh, principles of cloud robotics to figure out how to, how to hook these guys up to the network. And what's the ultimate mission of the Blab Droid? We'd like to find applications where we can gather stories from people that have a hard time telling them. Um, so that's what we found for regular people, but what about like soldiers with post-traumatic stress disorder, or veterans, or people who we want to hear their stories or record their stories while we still can, but they really don't like to talk about it to other people. We find that this robot can help facilitate those types of things. Alexander, thank you so much. No problem. And for more with Alexander and the Blab Droid, be sure to check out Gen Connect.